topic for today is all about rational numbers, converting fractions to decimals and vice versa. This topic is under quarter one, week four. At the end of the video, the student should be able to express rational numbers from fraction forms to decimal forms and vice versa. Please like, share, and subscribe to Mamdes Math Tutorials. Hit the notification bell button to alert you from our updated video lesson. Okay, so rational numbers are numbers which can be written as a quotient of two integers, a over b, where b is not equal to zero. Any rational number can be expressed in fraction form or decimal form. So, pag sinabi po nating rational number, ito ay pwede nating isulat as fraction, fraction and decimal form. Okay, here are the examples of rational numbers. If you are going to count this Doraemon's picture, so meron po tayong ilang pictures. So we have five. Now, what is the number five? How do you call five? Okay, five can be accounting numbers. Five is also a whole number. Okay, another, this is also an integer. Okay, so therefore, five or a number five is an example of rational number. Pwede rin po itong isulat as a fraction. Okay, how? You can write this five with a denominator of one since it is a whole number. Number two. So look at the SpongeBob. How many SpongeBob? Okay, so we have 2 and 1 half or 2 and 5 tenths. Okay, so this 2 and 1 half is a mixed number or we can also have this as for a decimal. So therefore, it is a rational number. Okay, number 3. Okay, this is a pizza. And then, what do you think is the fractional part of this pizza? So we have 6 over 8 or 3 over 4. Ayan. So you can see it is a fraction and therefore it is a rational number. Okay, number 4. What is the measure of this temperature? Okay, so the measure is negative 5 and we know that negative 5 is an integer and integer is a rational number. These are also another examples of rational numbers. Zero. Two over negative three. Okay? Two over negative three. Zero point three 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 three. Negative four over seven. Okay. Now, so let us have the terminating versus non-terminating and repeating decimal. So, what do you mean by terminating decimal? Okay, it is a decimal with finite number of digits. Example, 5 tenths, 2 and 456 thousands, 123 and 456 thousands, negative 1 and 25 Hundred. So, pag sinabi po natin terminating decimal, ito po yung kapag change mo yung fractions into decimals, so, exacto po yung answer natin. Okay? What about non-terminating and repeating decimal? A decimal number that continues endlessly with digits repeating endlessly. Okay? So, look at the example. 0 0.555 and so on, 5.14, 14, 14, 14, and so on, negative 1.523, 523, 523, and so on, and then 1 and 2, 2 3, 5, 5, 5, and so on. Okay? So, kung napapansin natin, may mga digit tayong inuulit-ulit-ulit. Okay, so walang katapusang ulit yung digits. That's why it is called non-terminating or repeating decimal. How to convert fractions to decimals? Converting fraction into decimal form is simply dividing the numerator by the denominator. So again, just divide 
the numerator by the denominator. Okay. So, like this one, 4 pips. Okay. So, you have to put 4 or the number 4 under the division symbol. Ayan. And then, 4 divided by 5 cannot be. So, you have to add decimal point here at the right of 4 and then directly above the quotient. Okay? And then, add 0. So, divide now. 40 divided by 5. Our answer is 8. And then, 8 times 5 is 40. Okay? So, that's why 4 pips is equal to 0 0.8 or we can read this as Eight tenths. Okay, example one, we have three fourths. Let us convert this into decimal. So again, sabi po natin, divide the numerator by the denominator. So we have three. Three will be under the division symbol. Four will be your divisor. Okay, so 3 divided by 4 cannot be, so you will add 0 here or put 0 directly above 3. Okay, then put decimal point here and then also above. Okay, so it becomes now uh, 30. Yeah, 30 divided by 4 is 7. 7 times 4 is 28. And then subtract it, so we have 30 minus 28 is 2. Add 0 again, so you will have 20. So 20 divided by 4 again is 5. And then 5 times 4 is 20. And then subtract it, so your answer is 0. And that's why our answer is 75 hundreds. So again, divide 3 divided by 4, and the answer is 75 hundreds. Our next example is one and one half. Okay, first, you will change one and one half into improper fraction. So this will be two times one is two and then plus one is three. So therefore, we have the numerator of three and then denominator of two. So change to change this into decimals, you will divide three by two. So three divided by two is one. One times two is 2. Subtract it. So, we will have 3 minus 2 is 1. Okay? And then, write the decimal point here and then you will add 0. So, bring down 0 here. So, 10 divided by 2 is 5. So, and therefore, your answer is 1 and 5 tenths. So, multiply mo to. 5 times 2 is 10. And then, subtract it and then the answer is 0. So, 1 and 5 tenths. So again, 3 over 2, 3 divided by 2 is equal to 1 and 5 tenths. Okay, 4 divided by 11. Add decimal point. So 4 divided by 11 is cannot be. Okay, then you will add 0 at the right of 4. So it will become 40 divided by 11. Ang sagot po natin ay 3. Multiply mo yung 3 and 11. Our answer is 33. Subtract it. So, you will have 7. Okay? So, add po uli. It's 70. 70 divided by 11 is 6. Multiply 6 by 11. We have 66. And then, subtract it. Then, 40. Okay? So, add 0 uli. 40. 40 divided by 11 is 3. 3 times 11 is 33. Then subtract it again. So 40 minus 33 is 7. 7 divided by 11 cannot be. So add 0 po uli. So it will become 70. And then 70 divided by 11 is 6. So kung napapansin po natin, repeating decimals po siya. Okay? So you have you can have the three dots. Three dots means ellipsis, or you can have the vinculum. So kapag may vinculum naman po, you have to write your answer like this. Okay, and then write the vinculum 
above the repetent digits, which is 36. Let us check if our solution is correct. Okay. In kilom, it is the bar placed above the repeated digit. How to convert decimals to fractions? Express a tenths in fraction form. A. A decimal is expressed to fraction form by using its digits, disregarding the decimal point as the numerator and selecting the correct power of 10 as the denominator. The fraction is then expressed in simplest form. Okay, so look at this example, a tens. So you read this one as a tens. So you write eight as the numerator and then tens as the denominator. Okay, it is equal to four pips. Four pips because you have to get the lowest term of the fractions. Okay, first example is four tens. So it read as 4 tenths. We write this as 4 over 10. Change it into lowest term. So you will have 2 pips. Okay, so it is 2 pips. So you get uh, the GCF of 4 and 10. Okay, 4 over 10. So our GCF of uh, 4 is 2. So divide it by 2 and then over 2. So, 4 divided by 2 is 2, and then 10 divided by 2 is 5. So, that's why our answer is 2 pips. Okay, for example, number 2, we have 125 thousands. So, since it, is, it have 3 decimal places, so the place value is thousands. So, write it in fraction form, 125 over 1,000. So, the way how you read the decimals, so, pareho lang po kung paano mo siya isusulat. So, 125 over 1,000. And then, change it into lowest term, so you will have 1,8. Okay? So, bakit po naging 1,8? Okay. So, you have to write 125 over 1,000. Yeah. And then, look for the greatest common factor of 125 at saka po ng 1,000. So, we can divide these two numbers by 125. Ayan. Divide po natin ng 125. So, 125 divided by 125 is 1. And then, 1,000 divided by 125 is 8. Converting and terminating decimals into fraction form. Express 8 tenths or the repeating decimals 8 tenths in fraction form. What you are going to do is to place the repeating numbers in the numerator. Okay? Then, for the denominator, use the same number of Nines. Okay? So, kita po natin na meron po tayong one decimal place. So, meaning it's tens. Ang gagawin lang po, you have to subtract one from ten. And then, it becomes nine. And that's it. That will be your denominator. For the next one, express this in fraction form. So, 85 hundreds or repeating decimals, 85 hundreds. So, again, Place the repeating numbers in the numerator. Our numerator will be 85. And then, since there are two decimal places and it means hundreds, so subtract 1 from 100. So, we'll have 99. So, 85 over 99. So, this is in simplest form. So, no need to get the lowest term. Kasi wala na po silang common factors.
For example, number 3 express this 123 thousands in fraction form. So, repeating decimal po ito because we have the vinculum above. So, place the repeating numbers in the numerator, which is 123. And then for the denominators, use the same number of 9. So, tatlo po yung decimal places. So, minus 1, it becomes 999. Now, so, kita po natin, pwede pa siyang masimplify. Okay? So, look for the greatest common factor between 123 and 999. So, i-divide po natin yon. So, ang common great, the greatest common factor po natin ay 3. So, divide it by 3 over 3. So, 123 divided by 3 is 41 and 999 divided by 3 is 333. Okay, so ayan na po yung lowest term natin, 41 over 333. So our next lesson will be operations on rational numbers. So let us end our discussion with a math code. Without mathematics, there's nothing you can do. Everything around you is mathematics. Everything around you is numbers by Shakantwala Devi. Thank you for watching and please support Mamdes Machutorat. See you on my next video. Bye-bye!